Hi, this is the Nightack, and in light of some really major news for at least US anime fans, I decided that I definitely need to make a video because I just, I can't contain my happiness or my excitement over it. It is basically the Sailor Moon anime series. Both the old and the new upcoming one has been licensed for the US and for an English language adaption by uh, Viz Media. This. It, it is astounding. I mean, not only are we getting the new series, which I kind of expected, you know, somebody or one of the anime companies here in the U.S. would pick up, but we have all of the old series, too. And that is something that in the U.S. we have never had. Uh, the most we've had was, like, the movies and the first four seasons. We always missed out on the fifth season, uh, Sailor Moon Stars. And there were like some specials that we never got, and even with uh, those four seasons, we still had like at least an episode or two missing. Um, so this is like major, major news, especially for a big, a longtime Sailor Moon fan like myself. I mean, I, I don't know really how to express how happy I am about this. I mean, it. It's something I never imagined would have happened because Sailor Moon has just been one of these, one of those properties that has been so, I guess, so difficult for any U.S. Uh, company to get the rights to in the past like decade or so. So for it to finally happen and to have this all announced at once, it's just, it's mind-boggling, you know. It also like completely overwhelming. Uh, I mean, Sailor Moon, it was the anime series that got me into anime. It's a series that I've never stopped loving. And what I also find great is the fact that uh, I have a niece who got into the series, not because I introduced her to it, because she found like the old dub floating on YouTube and, you know, started watching it and fell in love with it herself. And it's great to be able to like pass on this series to the next generation and to know that it is one of those series that, you know, despite the fact that it does kind of age a bit, it's still something that, you know, the next generation can enjoy and love. So I'm glad that we're getting this new release so that way it can be shared. I mean, I don't think there's any other way for you know, new fans to see the entire thing, or at least not easily, or definitely not legally. Uh, and now with this new deal with the Viz, because, uh, yeah, with Viz, you can. And it's not just, you know, DVD and Blu-ray uh, releases, though. That is awesome, especially since apparently there's going to be like a special limited edition version of it that I'm probably going to get, despite the fact that it will probably really stretch my budget. But uh, besides all that, they also got like streaming uh, rights, or at least for the old uh, anime series. It's still unclear what they have of the upcoming Sailor Moon Crystal series. Uh, and But, you know, we have Anime Expo coming up and that's pretty much where they said that they're going to announce the rest of, you know, the news that they have. Um, but getting back to the streaming thing for like the old series, they have the rights for it. In fact, Monday, yeah, this Monday, the 19th of May, you can actually start watching it on the, let's see, the Hulu uh, streaming site and also uh, this is a streaming channel on Hulu, uh, Neon Alley. So basically Hulu. Of course, that means if you're outside the U.S., you're kind of SOL for this, um, because Hulu is very much U.S.-based. Uh, but, you know, hopefully the uh, other countries will be able to, you know, get something out of this license. At least with, like, the English-speaking uh, countries, at least there will be eventual DVDs that you could import or whatever, and hopefully whatever companies you have in your country, they will get, uh, be able to get some license and rights. Um, 
but yeah, this is mainly a U.S. thing, and since I'm in the U.S., I'm a U.S. fan, it's, it's a big thing. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be rambling, so. <laughs> and it, this is all going to be one take two, because I, I just don't want to cut anything. <laughs> it's just, it's euphoria, you know. This whole idea that Sailor Moon is finally going to be legally accessible to not only myself, but to hopefully a completely new generation of fans it is amazing. Uh, like I said before, you know, I know that Sailor Moon has this broad appeal where it's just one of those series that I think no matter how old it gets, there's it's gonna be it's gonna have something that you can relate to because it does have some very universal themes running through it. And you know, I just can't wait to, you know, see like new fans come in and hear about like new people introduced to anime because of this series. I think uh, you know, back in the nineties this was one of the series that ended up being like the first series a lot of anime fans watched and what got them into anime, you know, just like me. And I think it definitely holds that power to be the same way. Uh, and honestly, I will not be surprised if it actually gets a TV run, if not the old series, the newer one. Of course, they'll be eventually down the line, but you know, it is Viz. They have been good with getting their uh, series on TV. And just for like the nostalgia, nostalgia factor alone, especially with something with like Toonami that came back because they were that programming block that actually aired Sailor Moon. In fact, they're the ones that aired uh, all the new episodes once uh, the rest of like R and S and Super S uh, got dubbed way back when. So I would not be surprised if that will eventually happen, but of course, you know, right now sticking with what will happen is that Viz has announced that there's definitely going to be streaming, we're getting, you know, subtitles of course, and we're getting a new dub, and one of the things that they want to do with this new dub is make sure that their act the actors, you know, they don't change out. Because that's the one thing with like the old Sailor Moon dub is that there were a lot of changing actors because of the fact that, you know, it didn't all get dubbed. Uh, well, it had like these huge breaks, and between those huge breaks between like the episodes game dub, there was a lot of cast changing, and that's something that they want to avoid, and they want to make sure that the uh, voice actors they have are going to be there from episode 1 to that episode 200 and not only that but you know not only do they have all the TV series that they plan on releasing completely uncut which is awesome but they have the three movies and all the specials and even while the movies they have had releases before the specials I don't believe they have so that's that's gonna be great to finally see those two I'm I think uh, for completely unreleased uh, Sailor Moon anime stuff, it's pretty much the specials and the fifth season. So it's going to be great to have those, and it'll just be great to have a much better quality uh, version of Sailor Moon to watch. Uh, as someone who's like seen everything that's been released before, some of the old DVDs, they were really not all that great. and. Uh, Viz, they went ahead. One of the things that they've done is that they've, you know, tried to make, uh, from the footage and material they've had, to try to make it as loyal to the original, you know, broadcast and animation. To make sure that, you know, the colors are right, that it's clear. I mean, that's the whole point of having it in Blu-ray, is that you're going to get a really nice, clear, uh, picture, which was definitely not something you got much of with the old uh, releases for uh, at least the English language version. Um, and let's see, I think that's just about all we know about it. I am hoping that there will be an announcement for the Sailor Moon Crystal that it'll also air on Hulu, because as things are, you know, it's only uh, scheduled to air on uh, was it Nico Nico Doga? 
which is the Japanese uh, streaming site. And I think you need an account and stuff for that, and I don't want to bother, especially when I already have, like, Hulu. So, yeah. So I hope that, you know, comes out, but from the sounds of it, you know, we've got plopped down with a whole bunch of information, and the next bout of information we're going to get is at Anime Expo, which, yeah, that's always, like, the first week of July. Man, that's, like... A little over a month. <laughs> it seems like so far, but then again, it, it'll give time to like digest all this information. And I think what's firstly, and kind of I guess selfishly in a way that I love about this, is that this is getting announced when it is. Because, you know, my birthday is May 22nd, so pretty much anything like really good that happens around that time, I totally like steal and say this is like birthday gift, a special birthday gift for me. <laughs> Which of course, like I said, kind of uh, selfish and everything, but I think I can do that, you know? And, uh, oh, I think I've covered everything. <laughs> I know I just kind of want to ramble on more and more, but I'll stop it here and I, I feel a little better that I've kind of gotten out, but I, this is just gonna make, probably make the rest of my month, if not the rest of the year. Um, so I will end here before I completely, completely, well, start doing this, pretty much. <laughs> so I hope if you're a Sailor Moon US fan that, you know, you gotta rejoice uh, right along with me, and uh, I really hope that this does uh, something to help like other uh, fans of the series in different countries eventually it'll lead to something if anything at least you know a better copies of these discs that you can import uh, and well <laughs> I guess uh, until next time see you